What is up guys, welcome back to the review space, and today on Versus, for the first time ever, we pit four, 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 four Generator Rex action figures against each other, and so we pit Smack Hands Rex against Agent Six with Katana Swords, against Battle Saw Circuitry Suit Rex, and last but not least, Van Cleese action figure. Alright, okay, so... Well, let's begin with Generator Rex. What's the character? Okay, Smack Hands Rex. Wow. This is the packaging, you know what I'm saying? It's got this circular cog design, the bubble plastic casing, uh, top left CN Cartoon Network logo, Generator Rex uh, design. The font, uh, the main character, is uh, in every packaging. Every packaging is actually identical to each other, so they all look the same. Uh, okay, so the, this is the figure in its packaging. It's got a little Evo. Rhinor is the character. And Evo is basically like a little monster dude. And it's ages four and up. Alright, in the back side, it's got to collect them all, of course. In a battle with vile Evo mutations, the fate of the world rests in the hands of a super powered teenager. Hmm. Yes, this is based on, well, this is basically an action figure from the TV show, the animated show. Which was, funnily enough, it was. It was based on a comic book or something from like the late 90s, like this obscure comic from way back when. The price was only $1.80, wow, look at that. I think it was marked down from already a low price of $3. I mean, these things just, they don't sell, you know what I'm saying? Winners have had this stock for a few months now and they just, they're not selling. You know, you know they have an overabundance of these, uh, of these figures. It's by Mattel, you know what I'm saying? Or, uh, you notice that Mattel figures don't sell nearly as much as DC. You know, it might be because of their horrible articulated, like, figures. You know what I mean? They just don't have much articulation. That's got to be it. Because, I mean, Generator X should be... It's one of the better uh, new animated shows, right? I mean, from 2010. I mean, it, it should be popular enough. It's kind of like Ben 10. All right, next figure, we got Battle Saw Circuitry Suit Rex. Looks pretty cool in its packaging. Includes the Parasax Evo, again, uh, identical uh, packaging, and the backside, they, they, there is some variation with the uh, collectible figures, like this one has, you know, Punk Busters Rex, and, you know, other characters in there. It's got a J-style uh, peg over there. Okay, and then the third figure, we got Agent Six with Katana Swords, ooh, I like him because he's green. Can't wait to open that. We'll open up all these figures, obviously, a little bit later. He's got uh, Insura in Incisorax Evo. <laughs> okay. And yes, it, it, it looks, uh, you know, it looks basic. Van Cleef, this is the uh, final figure. And he has a Larvus Evo. Larvus. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's open up these four figs and see which one comes out on top. Let's do it. Okay, so now I have opened up all figs. The Generator Rex 4 inches, And, well, let's begin. Alright, so first up, let's take a look at Smack Hands Rex. Alright, so this is what he looks like. Pretty decent looking figure. I like his arm the best. I, I like the detailing on it. It looks like a really cool weapon. It's attached to his hands permanently. Basically just a built-in molded sculpt. And he looks pretty cool. I mean, he's not wearing his glasses. It's over his head. Well, technically he is wearing it. Just he's not using it. The smack hands effect. Basically, his hands morph into this... They look almost like uh, clubs. Club-shaped weapons. Looks pretty cool. And detailing is quite nice. Good contrasting colors. So there's that orange, the gray, the white, the red. Small, like the black on his, his pants as well. So a lot of very cartoony look, very comic book look. And the figure itself is a very good, uh, you know, action figure uh, version of the uh, television character, the animated character. The, four, uh, the, the figure is about four inches tall, and he's actually quite skinny. I mean, look at that doesn't have it's not very bulky 
It's about the same size as the typical Star Wars action figure, actually. He really is like 3.75, actually. He's not even... I wouldn't say 4 inch, he's more, he's closer to 3.75 inch. Uh, he doesn't, they, they don't have holes at the bottom of their feet, as you can see there. So you can't really put him on a stand. As far as articulation, you can move his hand like that, twirly, 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 like a Ferris wheel, you know I'm sizzling. You could rotate his head 360, you know I'm saying, like an exorcist. And you can bend his arms at the elbow, like that. All right, and his legs move back and forth, and that's it for Smack Hands Rex in terms of articulation. Very limited, honestly. You know, he doesn't have. You can't twist his, uh, rotate his waist. You know, you, there's no. You can't bend his knees. So quite, quite limited. Um, it Mattel definitely did not. It's obvious that they were just aiming for the seriously uh, younger audience, the audi uh, younger demographic for these figures. They never really seem to put that much effort in their um, four inches in terms of articulation unfortunately and this character the smack hands rex he came with which is the i think he came with the rhino this is the rhino evo which is a little character i guess it's supposed to be a villain that he squashes like a bug like that and it's a tiny little character it's just a tiny little small you know, this uh, a single wash of paint. It doesn't have any like intricate coloring. The detailing is all right in terms of sculpt. It just looks like a weird, small, mutilated dog shaped, uh, a dog sized um, character in relation to the action figures. It's about, it's about the size of a small pet. I wish that they actually included a bit more color in these things. Uh, they don't have any articulation either. So it's just a small little piece of plastic, honestly, just a small creature that he destroys like like that, and it just fell on the ground. At the very least, his hands are posable like this, so you can bend bend his arms and stuff like that. So you know, have at least a couple of poses. You know, you can make him kind of stretch out his hands a little bit like that, and just I don't know, do a twirly attack or something. All right, so that's it for Smack Hands Rex. Next up. We have Agent 6 with Katana Swords, Oh yeah. Alright, so this character is named Agent 6, and clearly if you take a look at his character design, he's obviously based on Agent Smith from The Matrix. I mean, he's got the shades, the suit. He does look pretty cool, just in terms of... I, I, I like him, I like his green suit. It stands out, it is a bright color. I like the more, you know, I'm a fan of the more colorful figures. He's a very skinny build though, like, like the figure itself is just really thin. His legs, his arms, very dangly, gangly, I should say, gangly arms. But the, the painting is smooth, the painting looks nice, it looks clean. Not all of the figures though, like you gotta be careful. Uh, it's basically one of those things where some, sometimes the paint job is a bit sloppy, depending on the figure. In terms of articulation, yeah, you can rotate his head uh, completely uh, 360. From the shoulders, it is ball jointed, which surprised me. I had no idea. I did not expect that to be ball jointed. Can you believe that? So you can you can stretch it out. You can like kind of bend it like that. You can rotate it. So that's really cool. But you can't bend his elbows. <laughs> that would have been nice to be actually you know be able to bend his elbows. You can't rotate the wrist. And as far as his legs, his legs are a little bit more articulated though compared to the other figures because you can bend his knees. That's pretty cool. Finally, a Mattel figure that actually has bendable knees and of course his leg from the hips, they can move back and forth. So I think this figure itself overall has slightly more posability than the other ones. He's got a couple of katana swords. So a couple of uh, basic accessories. They're nothing special, but it definitely fits his character. You know, it's it's nice to have some accessories there. And overall, I just kind of like the simplistic design of the figure. He's not very big, but I think he works. So he, he's cool. I believe he came with... Uh, I think this, this one is called Incisorax. It's an Evo. All right, and it's just a, 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 re a red-orangish color Evo. Again, a very small 
piece of plastic that's doesn't have any articulation, just this, you know, a single color. But the sculpt is kind of interesting. I mean, it's it's just it's a very alien-looking character. It looks like something that you'd find in a game like Half-Life or something. You know what I'm saying? All right. Next up, we got Battle Saw Circuitry Rex. Circuitry Circuitry Suit Rex. All right, and he has really cool sculpt. This one in particular. Taking a look at the design, his paint job. I love the circuitry, you know, the blue and black circuitry on his arm right there, on his right arm, and he even stretches, uh, spills out onto his uh, chest area there. So that's pretty cool. Very, very cool design. But the rest of his body, the same, you know, type of design, the same normal looking character. He is wearing his goggles this time. And of course his hand, that's the main gimmick here, is that it is a battle saw. So basically you can, it rotates like that, a rotating saw blade. So that's pretty cool. And in terms of articulation, it, it seems like every figure, whatever their particular gimmick is, whatever their weapon is, it plays, it caters to that particular gimmick. Like his hand here, his right arm with the battle saw, has more articulation than normal so you can um, it does the 360 you can bend at the uh, elbows but at the same time you can also there's also you can rotate it from his uh, uh, bicep area so the other figures don't have that so that's pretty cool so I mean even his left hand his left arm doesn't do that you know, you can't bend it at the elbows. You can only rotate. You can only uh, rotate it from the shoulders. As far as his legs, they move back and forth, just like the uh, the other uh, Gen uh, Generax figure. Overall, I think it's a very cool looking design. And he came with what's his Evo? This guy. But it's more of a greenish, a light green, almost like a lime green color and its head is almost shaped like a meteor or something i don't know it's just bizarre it looks like a, a walking cabbage all right and the fourth figure last but not least is van cleese that's right he is a villain one of the main villains in the show i really dig his look he has a cool looking attire i like his gauntlet especially here and just great detailing in my opinion he has cool hair too. His hair actually reminds me of like a Jap Japanese rock star slash like emo, pseudo emo kind of hair. Actually, his attire, his clothing is almost, um, he's got like this steampunk, you know, steampunk look to him. So, unfortunately, I think at the back there is some paint job problems there. It's like small smudge, you know, just imperfections. It just depends on the figure, you know, some figures look better than others in terms of painting. So you're just gonna have to be careful when you look at the pegs and look at the different, the, the same figures uh, from the same uh, the same pegs and stuff. In terms of articulation, his hand does rotate, and you can bend his elbows. So at least this figure has, you know, his hands are a little bit more um, articulated. You you are able to also rotate his head, although his hair kind of gets in the way. So. He won't be able to do a full 360, but it does rotate. And again, his legs, they go back and forth from the hips, and you can bend his knees. So, unfortunately, again, very limited articulation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven points of articulation. Really? Really? And then his Evo, his little Evo character, is Larvis or whatever. Just a gray, almost like a spider, arachnid looking thing with a huge bulbous backside. It's very, very ugly. But, I don't know, it's kind of creepy looking. Okay, so overall, which is the best Gen Rex figures out of these four? I gotta give it up for uh, Battle Sauce, uh, Circuitry Suit Rex. I think because of his cool looking paint job on his right arm, and he does have a pretty cool weapon. I dig it, you know, I think it's it's my favorite. I like uh, the overall aspect of the figure is pretty cool. Alright, so that would be number one. Number two would be... I gotta give it to Agent 6. 
I just like his style. He just, he's got good articulation, first of all, both of his arms. But I, I like the color of his suit, you know, it's green. It's just a very simplistic looking figure, and I dig that. Um, and he's got a couple of cool swords, so. I don't know, a guy in a suit with a couple of blades that looks like Agent Smith. I, it just looks really cool, you know, just kind of out of place. Alright, so, uh, third place, hmm, it's between these two, the Smack Hands and Van Cleef. Neither figure really kind of captivated me that much. I like his hands, I like the Smack Hands, his weapon, it, it, it does look very unique. And then Van Cleef has an overall very, you know, steampunk look, and I, I enjoy that, it's, it's kind of... It's a little bit different, which is nice, and he's got a cool gauntlet. I think both of these figures, I'm gonna have to give these two a tie. Both of them come in third place. All right, so in terms of the small Evo monsters that came with the figures, they're all about the same size. They're all kind of small. You know, they, they have different colors that s separate them from each other, but maybe i i mean i like this one probably the best it just looks so like alien looking again it looks like a character from half-life so it's it's got a very alien vicious looking design to it you know especially like the mouth part i think his name is incisorax and then this figure little rhinor i think would come in second place it's a small little rhinoceros looking thing and then uh, these two, uh, I'd have to give it to this one. This this one would be third place. Larvis, I think, is his name, because he just looks so bizarre. And then this would be fourth place. This uh, I, I forget this guy's name already. Parallax, or I, I again, doesn't stand out at all. But uh. all right, so that's it for my review of these four Generator Rex action figures. Hey, if you can find them for two bucks a piece, I found them for less than two bucks, a dollar eighty a piece at Winners, so it's probably the best time to get them now. Uh, they were marked down from like five dollars or something, and I think their average price, especially last year, was like seven dollars. So you might want to check them out. They're pretty cool looking. I think you know, there's not a single one that's too terrible. You know what I mean? I think all of them have some kind of unique feature. And if you're, a, especially if you're a fan of the show, then you're probably gonna want to check out these uh, action figures. All right, so that's it for this episode of the review space. And check out the rest of the channel. Comment, rate, subscribe. More videos to come. All right, so until next time. Ciao.